Hello and welcome back to another Hot Dogs, Horseshoes and Hand Grenades, I'm City Survivor and today we're going to take a look at update 76 of this game, there's a lot of stuff. So before we get started, quick update on me personally, I've moved into my new accommodation for uni, uh, that's the ceiling height, that's my arm fully extended, bit of a low ceiling, second off my space is a bit of a lie, uh, that is my bed, that is where I told the system my room is. Long curry cut short, this room could be much better laid out, unfortunately I have a corner desk. If I had a straight desk I'd stick it in the bay window, but hey, alas, the problems of rented accommodation. I hate corner desks, especially when they put um, shelving units up the side and all that. Me. Anywho, enough about me moaning about real life, let's get on to the fun. So this update adds a few things. The three main new systems are uh, attachable muzzle brakes, attachable underbarrel projectiles, and attachable bayonets. So let's begin with the bayonets. So here we have one of the AK variants with its custom bayonet. And each of the, the bayonet and the underbarrel come in two variants. The bespoke, well, two styles. The bespoke style, which is designed for a specific weapon. Like, this is designed specifically for this. And in here, uh, melee bayonets. Some of these are universal bayonets that fit on some. I know the Mosin the Gaunt one, the Mosin, fits on a few. I know that's pretty universal. I think the Enfield is a pretty universal one as well because it goes over the barrel. There are some that aren't, some that are, yada, yada, yada. I'll have to work out. There are also bespoke grenade launchers. The one thing that I find a bit odd, we didn't add Picatinny uh, bayonets. Bayonets that fit on the Picatinny rail. Odd, I know. I would have thought they would have done that, but hey. Yeah, so the grenade launchers have the same thing. Um, Picatinny and uh, bespoke. And yes, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but anywho, let's spawn some Sussex. Uh, Sussex. And bayonet. Bayonet. Oh, yes. This is gonna be fun. Uh, I'm shooting through you. Nope. Oh, darn it. Oh, darn it. Anyway, yes, bayonets. That's going to be fun. That's going to be fun in. Um, hopefully, he's apparently going to update the um, Rise of the Rock Wieners, Return of the Rock Wieners. That one, and it'll be fun to have bayonets for zombies. <laughs> uh. Anywho, oh, I didn't know that did that debris. One second, I haven't seen this before. I need to be careful about shooting up because I'm going to hit the ceiling a few times. Anywho, uh, let's get on to the real show because bayonets are all fun and all. However, underbarrel grenade launchers are, as we all know, just straight up cooler. There are a metric butt ton of them, so we'll load you. And I'll try getting a few different varieties. Oh, direct hit. So yeah, and I'm pretty sure if I remember. Yeah, you can find a free hand. It's basically a grenade launch pistol. Yes, and there is an AK variant. Uh, let's, you know what, let's go get the AK variant. So let's have a look. So there's all our different bayonets for all the different guns and a few of the universal ones and la 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 la. Uh, attachments. You, no, it wouldn't be under utility. Oh, that's misc. Uh, attachments. So we've got under barrel and I don't, 
muzzle brake devices are universal muzzle brakes. Well, muzzle devices, so suppressors and muzzle brakes, which is going to be fun. Uh, apparently, well, actually, they reduce your recoil. So, do you know what? Let's get it. Let's get one. Uh, something that looks a bit sensible. That one. Like so, uh, let's get that. So, let's compare. Oh, there's a guy behind there. Okay, pretty stable. Let's. I said, take you off. I'm catching buttons. There we go. Put you there. That looks like a bit more kick. That'd probably be better to test in the other range, the one where we have a actual thing. But yeah, they're apparently supposed to reduce kick. As a penalty, they increase your sound and vis visuals to the Sussex in modes where they will hunt you down. If I was to enable it here, which sounds a reasonable trade off, and honestly, I'll take that. Other than the um, zombie mode, doesn't really matter, does it? Anywho, so that's. That, there's the muzzle brakes, the absurd amount, plus some suppressors. Actually, a lot of suppressors. An underbarrel. So, we have... I'm pretty sure... So, we've got some grenade launchers. I believe the... Um, so, these two are bespoke. And these are the same one, but designed to go on a Picatinny rail. Yeah? So, this is your... Uh, break action and this is your muzzle load so this is your one that you'll go on your AKs and with your muzzle loaded one uh, you go there for now how do I excuse me ah I grab the I would have thought I grabbed there but no I grab on the muzzle Okay, and you should just attach there. Also, uh, you may have noticed, there's a new sound. And we switch hands, when we put away, and when we pick up, which is pretty cool. Uh, do we actually have a full sight? Yes, we do. So, let's spawn another Sausage. Uh, what's that? Is there a safety? All oh, right, that's how you spit it out. The trigger's not functioning. That one. I don't need to grab it in a different place, do I? Hmm. Can I just just attach it? I've definitely got hold of it. I'm pushing all the directional buttons. That spits it out. Was that the safety? What? So, oh, is that the safety? Ah, there's the safety. Okay, and does that allow me? Ah, yes. If I pushing right changes the angle of the grenade launcher, and yes, that is an absurd thing. I don't know what the ranging on that is. Also, this controller is not in my hand properly. Hello, you want to go back down, or do I have to use the other hand? the other way. So let's keep it pretty flat because we're inside. Okay. 
I'm learning as I go. The fun way. Can I just shove it down the barrel the wrong way? Eh, it accepts it. So. Okay, so the problem with this style of sight is it's slightly off-center, so you want to aim ever so slightly to the side of the target you're trying to shoot. The advantage of this one is you don't have to fiddle with a tube. So if I want to hit him, I want to put it about the... Okay. You know, grenade launches the head's pretty terrifying. So yeah. Bump. Hello, it just falls out. And we can twiddle with this whilst it's on there. Wonderful. So yeah, we've got those. And then we have the house key and the car key, which, as you can see, are just, um, grenade launch, they're not grenade launch, shotguns, and I believe I cut that button. I believe the only difference is this one has a longer barrel, meaning it packs a bit more of a punch or whatever it is. It's more accurate and all that because of the longer barrel. <laughs> Missed. But we should be able to slap this on here. And you can have extra bullets. Actually, you know what? That should be able to go there. Where is it to open it? Slap on there. Let me toggle this controller because it keeps sliding down my hand. This left controller. Tighten it. So no, you in there? That snaps you off. So grab. Oh, does that, and then... Dang it! No? You want to open? Why is this being so fiddly with this controller? Okay, now it's working. So you push sideways, in, and load, and I want to snap you off and put you on the side there. Okay, and then, because we're a mad lad, we want a um, Picatinny grenade launcher underslung on the bottom. And because we're even more of a mad lad, uh, let's go get a bayonet for when thing because we've got a bit too close and not close and personal. I'm pretty sure the Mosin bayonet fits on this barrel. You know what? That's a pretty good gun. All we need now is, I think, a nice juicy red dot sight. And, well, we have something fun and I don't want to know how long I've been going for. I've spent 13 minutes explaining this. Okay, anywho, uh, attachments, reflex. Uh, we want a back sight, I think. This one usually works well. I can line it up with that. Okay. I believe we are totally tactical, so this should and then grab the for the shotgun, so we'll bayonet, oh, shit. shotgun. <laughs> Out of ammo. Ah! Termination! <laughs> yeah. Take a while to reload, but you know. Tactical. 
I'm gonna put a laser sight on that side, you know, just so we have, make sure we don't miss our bayonet. Okay, well, let's have a look at some of the other stuff, shall we? Because that's all fun and all, but we need to do some other stuff. So, they've added a bunch of new firearms, some, and they're all World War II. They've added a few variants and model replacements, and the, so they've added some smaller and larger variants of the Lee Enfield and the Mosin, I believe, and different uh, year models. So, for example, that is a stubby version of the Lee Enfield. Very stubby. Uh, let's go have a look. We'll have a quick look at them. We don't need to really go in. So we've got our jungle carbine. So the jungle variant. I don't exactly know what the difference is. Also, apparently they fixed um, some with the ability to remove... Apparently that wasn't removable at some point properly. I can't remember. Safety. It's a Lee Enfield. We all know what a Lee Enfield is. Uh, but the funky new gun is the, 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 the Lazy Carbine. Yes, this thing, I believe... What was it? World War... Two? Uh, fascist Italians in Africa. Drop one. It's such a dinky little bullet and sounds so quiet. That whole thing is the um, suppressor. Can I get a double kill? <laughs> it stunned him. That's all it did was stun him. I didn't didn't properly pan. Uh, and I don't have a bayonet. Yes, the the lazy. It's a cute little gun. It's so silent. Now where is the um? Oh, what is it? What's it called? The suppressed pistol. With its, turn, with its little knob bolt. Knob action. You twist the knob to do it. I forget what it's called. Brain. I've seen it loads of times. I know what it is. It's really slow, really quiet. Looks like a, looks like a metal tube. Anywho, yes. Uh, AK-74M, Makarov pistol. And, um, oh, they've also added the Medigun. So, that will probably be under secondary? Yes, from TF2. Unfortunately, we have no targets to heal. And apparently this thing um, heals and heals allies and, as an added bonus, prevents them from being um, suppressed, which is pretty useful, especially if you're playing with healing it, healing it, I don't know, a heavy. You don't want your heavy going to ground to dodge enemy attacks. So yes, uh, let's see, what else have we got? All the attachments, the house key, the car key. Hmm. Oh, I know something interesting. They've been messing around with some specific things. So, let's switch over mode. Oh, also, they've added a confirmation here. I'll reload, uh, not clean up, but confirmation to re return, quit, and reload scene, which is very useful, in case you accidentally misclick of your shaky hands. Shaky hands! Anywho, uh, let's go to somewhere a little dark. And I think somewhere outside because you know what? This sounds fun. So you lot are all cool and all, but uh, you are spawned for a midget. Much better. Uh, we want a. Well, it's got to be proper. We want a flare gun. Uh, does it give us an actual flare? I believe so. Just spawn lock you. So, flares have had a little rework. 
as you can see. They light up areas, which will be useful in dark modes. There's not many combat, but apparently there's going to be more dark areas in the uh, zombie mode, and you might get a few dark areas in the meat grinder. Now, another very important thing that I wanted to be shown is because you got a Picatinny rail, there's a lot of um, absurd things you can strap a Picatinny to. For example, at the power tools, both varieties of power tool here, as you know, or may not know, have a Picatinny. The grenade launcher. Uh, yes, the grenade launcher has one there and one there. And this one has one on top, which means. I will show you All right now. We can do something uh, tactical, completely logical. For example, personally, I think that, you know what? You know what your, your um, builder needs? Two Picatinny. Under barrel uh, M203 40mm grenade launchers. Ah. Long travel time. Yes, you can do this. Now, the reason why I want a um, Picatinny bayonet is because, well, I can add a bayonet to a chainsaw. Those will come down eventually. Uh, unfortunately, uh, do we get a proper sight on this one? We don't get a rangefinder on this. Not rangefinder, um, sight ranging, unlike the... Oh, it's only this one. Oh, this is the only one that has the ranger on it. Which will come in useful if I could actually read it. Now all you need to add is the muzzle grenades that take the special bullet to shoot. Uh, I'm trying to think, it was common in World War II where you shoot a special semi kind of like blank round, which would, which would fire a grenade strapped to the end of a barrel down range. That will be a fun one, and I want to see it when you fire the wrong bullet and blow yourself up. Anywho, the other two things that have been changed, other than the flur, is in shotguns, is so flare also a point blank is guaranteed ignition and i think at a distance it has a chance to ignite and the other things are where is uh easiest way trying to remember my way i don't really use this do i i more spend much more time in the other mode utility there oh panel come to me thank you uh our other 12 gauge uh, the cannonball round has been changed, and the freedom fetty has been changed. So, the freedom fetty apparently now has a slug round in it, instead of just being a low pressure kill at close range that's highly inaccurate. So it's good up to a slightly sh slightly longer short range. And the cannonball, you are the cannonball, is now a flashbang round. So where is a shotgun? Uh, I think a break action will be good. So, this should be the cannonball. And that is a stun as well as its glorious um, flash. And the confetti, we should see, has a... Uh, let's make sure I hit the target slug round as you just heard so this will actually flash enemies in modes where they exist and mildly blind you and also do whatever that mess is but freedom fetty of course is always for that because you know freedom or something 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 and i believe that's it oh also they've added um Scopes for all the World War II weapon, World War II appropriate scopes, because you know that's important. Now the next thing is, uh, let's go back to a better scene. 
to clean this up is um, Meat Fortress introduced um, jiggly parts on the guns, the bits that wobble. The bits that are affected by physics. Well, uh, let's see. We'll also go to, where are you, the indoor range? Bring? Uh. Jiggly parts to all the guns. So, for example, uh, if I pick the up there, that is jiggly. Look, it follows gravity. And they've added that to all sorts of stuff. For example, the most important thing, of course, uh, no, support machine gun. Well, of course, that matches his brain gun. We got a swingy handle. Swingy handle. And when you hand hold of it, it holds up. Wobble. 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 It should really just. So you can grab by the handle, like that, for your. Da, 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 or you can grab by the. Which is fun. I really think when you have hold of by the handle, it should just leave there and fall, does it? So if I put it that way. Oh, yeah, it might follow physics and actually snap. Also, apparently, um, with bipods, if you grab the, yep, you can, when you grab a bipodded weapon by the underbarrel, it will collapse the bipod immediately to simulate like you're firing. Da -da 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 -da. We need to move quick instead of going, uh, uh, you can just go, uh, da -da 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 -da, as you retreat or whatever. I don't know. Those modes for those important things uh, and there's loads of weapons with jiggly physics you will no doubtly see them entirely um aesthetical so i was going to quickly check out the accuracy and next time we'll go have some fun in the meat grinder so not meat grinder um taking hold because those things have been added and the bespoke um un attachments have been added but the picatinny stuff has Apparently he's going to work on a way where when you pick attachments, it will only pick attachments for your specific weapon, suitable to your weapon rather than any, which I think is probably a good idea, weapons that you have on you probably, or something like that, rather than, oh look, uh, here's a, um, a grenade launcher for an AK, oh look, you have a, um, I don't know, do I need these? One moment. You have a pistol that uh, has a Picatinny rail. I don't know what's more absurd, the drill or this. Also, this allows you to two-hand this pistol. Actually, you could do that already. Although, clearly this thing does, wouldn't actually work in real life since it clips. I guess technically we could get some barrel extensions. <gasps> we could put it on sideways if we got one of those extenders. Anywho, yes, uh, what was that? I was going to show the muzzle brakes. Sorry, my brain is having um, whew, shiny moments, and I do like shinies. Anywho, so we want our muzzle brakes. So muzzle devices, so we'll get that one. Excuse me. Thank you. And what's a gun with a good amount of kick? Who has an inordinate amount of kick for a machine gun? Well, uh, it needs a big caliber and a good rate of fire. You know what? We'll go grab an AK because it's uh, pretty kicky, as we all know. So this is the M variant I mentioned before. It's a bright orange Mac. Nice. Oh, is that a wood mag? Is that is that a wood mag? So, full auto. Uh, we'll set everything to 30 meters. That's where I hit with the grenade. Not too bad off center mass. Uh, 30. Go to distance. So, no muzzle break. I'm going to hold her steady and not try to compensate at all. Pretty stable. As we can see there. Let's slap our muzzle brake on. Uh, let's clean her up. And hold her. Oh, 
okay, maybe not the best example. Let's see. Maybe we try one handed. Well, that's clearly not going to work because. Off. Controllers keep slipping. Wait, is that tech? Is that because I have my hand there, or is that because it's technically in my shoulder? You don't actually have to hold the thing for it to count as a um, stabilizing it. Watch. If I put my hand, so I believe this is something from pistols where you could do that. Okay, I believe that's supposed to uh, um, help you stabilize machine pistols. You know how you could, how technically you could hold a pistol like that and go bang, bang, bang. Most breaks they do work. He did show it off in his video. I, I can see the mild effect. I need a gun with some inordinate amount of kick, but half an hour is probably a good place to end. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did so, hit that like button. Got any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll answer if possible. New channel, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter and support me on Patreon. Links for those are down in the description. Is this... That's the Freedom Fetty. You know what? I'll quickly show this off. I'll say uh, clear. I'll go to five meters. And you can see the slug. So, I mean, it's... Best centre math that I can. So I was aiming like that. Could be my offset, but it dropped the thing up there. So yeah, stay well and survive out. I'm gonna have some fun. Oh, you can't see my fingers. My maniacal, evil genius fingers going click 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 click. Cheerio.